So what are we up to today? Today we're making some pots for the uh, seeds. I'm going to try and do it a little bit more scientific this time this year and just put um, one seed in every pot because I hate thinning little plants out and um, this year I've decided just to grow things that I really always buy in the supermarket and what I'm going to plant today in these little paper pots is uh, Romisha salad which is like those Roma salad things, it's a kind of a salad, you know. And some spring onions, some spring onions. We get all this stuff going today. We're having really bad weather, it's been raining now for 48 hours solid, and the weather forecast says rain for the next two days, so there's not much going on in the garden. But the good thing is, rain for two days, and then the weather is going to get worse. It's going to get colder. Back to snow again, possibly. So I don't know when the springtime's going to eventually come, but I hope it comes soon. So what we're doing now is making some little paper pots. And we're using the patented paper pot maker from Mr. Bacon Soda. He's got a great channel. Recommend you go and have a look at it. And Brendan turned up this little pot maker for me on his lathe and sent it over to me from Ireland. So I'll get some paper pots made now. Now I've forgotten exactly how to do it, but I hope I've got the, uh, the idea roughly. So what we do is we just roll the newspaper up like this. Not too tight. Then we fold it in there, and there, and there. And then with the patented, patented paper pot maker, we give it a little twist there to hold it all together. There we go. There's pot number one, or pot number two. Yeah, we just keep rolling them up. You could use plastic pots if you want, but um, with the pot maker, with these little paper pots, the nice thing is you can just plant them directly in the ground, and um, and they just they just um, dissolve with the time. Then, so you don't have to take them out of the pot. You just plant the whole thing in the soil then. So these seeds that I've planted, I'm not sure if I'll put them in the greenhouse yet or or if I will um, put them in the house to germinate. Because it's still, it's still really cold outside. Look, it's the 18th of March today and uh, that's the, usually the time of time of year when all the wisteria pods start popping outside but this year there's no sign of it because it's too cold so I've found a way to make them even neater and what you do is this corner here you fold that over there like that roll up the Roll up like normal. Now you've got a nice little curved edge on there too. It makes it a bit more stable for some reason.
So now I've just got down to the greenhouse and put some soil in these and come back in a minute. So I don't want to get soil all over the table. So let's have a look how big these Rome, Roman salad leaves are. Um, leaves, seeds. <laughs> Maybe the minuscule little tiny things. Oh yeah, they are. So we'll put them up, just put a few on this plate. So I just want to try and get one seed in every pot. There's loads in there. So these these little pieces of wood you can see here, I buy these a giant sack full for five euros and I use them as firewood. But they're also really good for little name tags for your seeds. So now we're going to do the uh, rocket science and artificially inseminate these pots. So first of all, I take my dibber and Brendan, bacon soda, made me a lovely dibber out of um, ivy wood. But I've looked everywhere and I can't find it. And it's disappeared into one of those Bermuda saucers or somewhere it's gone, can't find it. So I'll just dip a few holes in there. And this time we're going to do it precise with one seed in every single. have to find a better way of picking them up. One in each one. And now a little tiny drop of water to get them going. And I'm putting lukewarm water in there. Water's about 20 degrees. I don't know if that's going to do anything, but that's the ideal germination temperature, so it's not going to do any harm. Compost is already quite damp, so it doesn't need that much. Oh. There we go. That's the Roma salad. Waiting to go. I want to have a, just have a quick look here. This is the uh, plants I put inside for winter. And um, I cut back the avocado. I'll just zoom up a bit. I cut back the avocado in winter to here. And this is how much growth it's put on in the last three weeks. Another metre and a half on top. Which is much too etoliated. It's much too too much but it's just the way it grows but that can't really go outside till at least end of April because it's so susceptible to frost but it's nice to have a bit of green stuff growing in the house just to remind you that spring will come eventually so that's me done for today have a great day and happy planting.